Hi, I'm Haz, and I'm going to tell you a story while you watch this painting that I did. This is the story of Hans Trapp. Hans Trapp is a French legend, but I'm going to say it in English, because unless it can be summed up with Quelle le date de ton anniversaire, my knowledge won't cover it. A long time ago, in rural France, there was a man named Hans. He was a horrible person. He was vain, and he was rich but not generous, and he'd laugh at other people's misery. Just cruel and an all-round bad guy. Duh. In his spare time, Hans liked to worship the devil, and it's thought that he accrued all his wealth by practicing dark magic and making deals with demons. When the Pope heard about all this, it really got under his skin and hat, and he had Hans brought to the Vatican, where he was excommunicated and sent back home. But when he got there, Hans found that his home had been repossessed and his money was all gone. But not only was he now poor, but he was no longer welcomed by all the villagers. They were like, get out of here, and if you can't get on with a pope, it's a nope. And they sent him off to live in the woods in Germany. Penniless and exiled, Hans sunk into his anger. He was consumed by it, and all he could think of was his eventual revenge on the villagers for casting him out. He continued to practice his dark magic, and as he sank deeper and deeper into it, he became obsessed with the idea of cannibalism in for a penny, why not? So consumed by this desire was he that he made a plan. Very good plan it was too. He decided that he had to dress up as a scarecrow, go and stand in the field neighbouring the woods, and wait for one of the villagers to walk past, and he'd take them and go and you'd eat them. So he dressed as a scarecrow, and he went and stood in the field, and a very young shepherd boy came wandering by, so Hans stabbed him with a sharp stick, took him back to his lair, and started to cook the boy. Presumably he was like super excited right now, he's got a victim full of flesh that he was about to eat, he's cooking on the fire, but as soon as it came down to it, Hans had his, his plate of boy, he was about to take a bite, and God struck him with lightning and he fell, hit his head and he died. But that's not where Hans Trapp's story ends. To this day, parents in France warn their children, if they're naughty throughout the year and if they're wandering around being bad, the spirit of Hans Trapp will grab them, take them into the forest, and they'll never be seen again. So happy holidays. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more stuff like this, follow my Instagram and sub to my YouTube, both of which are has John Art, because I'm not original when I name my accounts. Ah, uh, mama, what the fuck? He was vain.